There we go. Hello. Hello. Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was just looking up how to... I want to do like an early early arriver nut bonus. Let me see if this works. Slash X reward all 100. Does that work? Or do I just take out the all? I should really know. I should really know this. There we go. Did it. Whoa! Uh, sup, Ellipse? Kristen, Aileen, David, Paul, late night. Uh, he's like, Kitty, hey, Kitty. Kitty, your camera's bigger than my camera. I guess that's probably for the best. Oh, this is a little bit big, though. There may, there's a slight chance there might be something on that portion of the screen that somebody might want to see, so it's... There we go. That, that's reasonable. <laughs> All right, cool. You made it to a Friday stream. It feels weird. <laughs> when was the last time that you were at one of the streams? I, don't get me wrong. I'm not like specifically noting your absence, but it's been a it's been it's been a minute. And he's like, hey, Kibo, Kiboko, can we do Kiboko? I, I I feel like we've had this conversation like twice as to how I should pronounce your name, and I'm I'm just <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hey, Flynn, Kitty, hi, Lava, Brian, Martin, and Martin. There's two. Briancha, sup, sup, sup. You're on time to stream a miracle? Indeed. Indeed. All right, my glasses should be clean. I just do that, like, five times a day. I, well, I have this, like, cute little cloth. I got this, um, from the gear store. It's like, it's like a Hearthstone board. And then on the back, I think I'm supposed to, like, put my name on it, but it's just, like, a little glasses cleaning cloth. I didn't really feel need to sign it. Um... But I got that like real cheap during the Blizzard Spring Sale because I needed like a dollar or two more to get free shipping and it was like real cheap. Oh, hi, you're my favorite wacky YouTuber. Oh, thanks, Valcor. Hazel set Prince Asmodeus. Okay, so my desk is a tragedy right now. Um, we're going to be doing Brawler's Guild because uh, as I mentioned in my uh, top 10 wow things or moments or whatever of 2017, uh, I haven't done it. I haven't finished it. And I would like to, I don't even have my Brawler's Burly Basilisk, because I would like to get one of those. So we're going to log in. I'm going to look up some guides, because uh, I tried to just, like, YOLO in um, on my own, and it got blown up pretty much immediately. So I probably should at least know what's going on. Hi, Hazel. Happy Friday. Sup, Danielle. It's been a while. Your work schedule changed. You've been off sick with the flu. Given up on life, and <laughs> you're awaiting the sweet release of death. Yeah, you, you can't give up, though. You can't give up. It'll always get better. Nothing ever stays the same. If you're happy, that won't last forever. And if you're sad, the same thing goes. It sounds kind of kind of depressing, but I promise it, it's not that bad. I love your honest shirt. Thank you. I like this one a lot. I really like that the Blizzard Gear Store does different cuts of shirts other than just, like, t-shirt. This one's got, like, a three-quarter length sleeve. And it's, like, a wide print neck. Thank you for becoming a sponsor, Marseille. Mm. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your emotes, and I always enjoy your Instagram stories featuring your art. I love seeing what you're drawing. Um, the one thing I do think about this shirt, though, is that I'm not 100% sure that the color is super great on me. Like, it's a it's a perfectly fine color. It's like an off-gray oatmeal, but I'm not really sold on the color. MKPR123, thank you for becoming a sponsor. There's the alert. A little, little, little squishy heart. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we need to do a new, um, we need to do a new emote. Actually, um, what we're going to do a little later in the stream, once we've had a little bit more time for people to kind of filter in, is we're going to do, I'm going to, like, have you guys suggest me some emote ideas, and then once I've got a couple that I like, we, we'll do a stream vote on them. We'll do, like, a stream poll, because you guys are the ones watching the stream, so you guys should be the ones to vote on who, on what the emotes are. Um, you're so overgeared now, strats will be mostly useless, you just need to know how to not get insta-killed. Exactly, so that's what I'm gonna find out, is how to not get insta-killed. Uh, Seth Hazel, how was your week? My week has been pretty good, it's been a little up and down. I had a couple of really good days, and then yesterday was garbage. But, it, today's a good day again, you know, not every day can be a good day, and I know what I did wrong yesterday, so I know, I, I've learned something, I feel like. What am I doing? I'm looking at the wow head. Brawler's Guild Guide, because they have it like, I like the way they've formatted it, it's pretty easy to figure out what I'm looking for. Do I have any missions here that are done? Uh, do I have any I need to send out? I'm always, I'm caught, oh I can, mm, no, no, 200% only. We are 200%, uh, sometimes I do these, sometimes I do these, because um, that's worth like a thousand rep, I think I'll throw that in, it's only 400 resources and just two dudes, they'll be back. Um, I like doing those because I do not yet have all three of the mounts. I don't yet have all three of the mounts that I need from that. Um, I have one of them, and in my opinion, the one that I have is actually the best one. But 
I could have more. Also, it's occurring to me that my tea readout is not up here. So let's tea of the day, tea readout. There we go. That's not actually what I'm actually it might be what I'm drinking to be quite honest with you. I uh it's it's just I don't know what this one is. It's a shoe pour. And that's what I'm going to put up there. But I have lost the label that tells me what it is in English. I have the label that says it in Chinese, but I don't actually know how to read Chinese. So it wouldn't help me much. All right, so we got this guide. I am trying so hard to get all of my windows on my screen with two monitors. I don't think I can, well, I can do it if I just close my OBS and trust that everything looks okay on camera. If I start like, I don't know, if the cat just leaves or, you know, I start like bleeding from my face or something, if you guys could tell me, cause I won't be able to see myself while I'm looking at these guides. Uh, you really need a new name? You mean you don't personally identify with MKP M M MKPR123? <laughs> you think the shirt looks great to me? Aw, oh, thanks. Just got done with the Brawlers Guild thing and got the BOA and, ma and Mount. Oh, there was a BOA, wasn't there? Okay, so let's, let's see. We're a guide. You just go in there and kill everything in three seconds. Well, I tried that and I died. It was this big fire genie dude. And uh, I was killing him and that was good. And then I died and I don't know why. So I need to figure it out is what I'm saying. Hazel, love your videos, but never managed to watch you stream. In fact, I'm going to sleep. See ya. Oh, well, thanks for dropping by. Anyone else have the Vile Fiend mount? I have the weirdest desire for this. I think I have the Vile Fiend. I have, I have, I might have, is it a Vile Fiend or a Vile Fiend? I have the, let's see here. I do have the Vile Fiend. Apparently I don't have an Acid Belcher. How do I get that? Screeg. Oh man, I, f I stopped farming Argus Mounts too early, apparently. I'm missing one. Because it's very different. These are very different and distinct and individual mounts. They have their own feelings. They do not want recolors of the same gift for Christmas. And I should probably value the Acid Belcher just as much as the Vile Fiend. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, alright. Let's try and catch up here. Oh, I noticed actually when I was putting on my headset. I'm not going to take it off again because you won't be able to see anyways. But I noticed when I was putting on my headset today. I have, um, you know how like on the inside of headphones there's like a a net that like protects your ear from all of the machinery or the machinery from your ear as it happens to be. I have matching purple stains on each one of those because my ears got stained purple and they're still purple actually after like 15 days and and I, I stained the insides of my headset purple which is it's fine. It was just kind of funny. All right this is not the way I'm trying to go and also this is not the mat I'm trying to ride. I can fly here so I should probably do that. Um. Uh, you got a new headset? Oh, what headset did you get late night? You made eggnog and peanut butter fudge this week. I feel accomplished. That sounds like an awesome week. Uh, are you a little to the side? A little to the side. A little to the side. Oh. Yeah. Eh. If I, if I, the problem that though is if I center myself, you guys get like half beige curtain and that beige curtain is so boring that I would rather be to the side as long as I'm like mostly in the shot. <laughs> At least this way you can see the catacombs poster, right? I don't know. Uh, Valphine dropped me last night. Grats! Uh, what would you suggest to a newbie who just started Legion but wants some more mounts? Uh, best bet is to, and I have a video, I don't remember what my, vid my own video is called, but I have a video that goes into detail, but basically, simplearmory.com is a website where you can look up your character's profile. If you go into the collection section of simplearmory.com, uh, there is a thing called show planner for mounts specifically, and it'll show you a, a route to take to farm dungeon and raid drop mounts that kind of minimizes travel time. And if you go do that once a week, you'll you'll be starting to load up amounts pretty quick, at least from drop rate. Uh, there, what else can you do? What else? What are some good, easy, quick mounts to get? Of course, there's some vendor mounts. Um, there's, there's vendor mounts from. Are, is there still vendor mounts from a, mount, a lady out here? Does this lady May Francis? Does she still sell mounts? Uh, depending on how much gold you have, these are there's of course a couple of mounts you can get here. Um, she's got like a mammoth and a bear and some griffins and whatnot. I'm probably I'm probably forgetting like a thousand things. <laughs> uh, anyone else detoxing in the new year? Uh, depends on what you mean by detoxing. Uh, the question is, are they really purple? Oh, my ears? Or, or uh, there's many things that could be purple. My ears aren't like grape purple. They just have a very definite purple hue. I, I'm not going to try and lean in and show you because I know that if I do that, I'm going to knock over my tea. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to drink my tea today. I'm trying to drink my tea. That video? Thank you, Skitterbun. Yeah, you got it. Love your outfit today. Thanks, Alexia. Uh, what website was that? Simplearmory.com. Simplearmory.com is the one with the mount planner. Um, it's also good for other stuff, probably, but I only ever use the mount planner. Uh, hey again, Hazel, back again from Europe. Thanks a lot for making the morning stream. 
Well, thanks for coming to that one, and then this one again, Julius. I'm planning on making the Tuesday thing regular. Um, for any of you that have missed it, if you, if this is if it's like the middle of the night for you right now, I am going to do my best to continue streaming on Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. Not as long as the stream and kind of more casual, and I won't be posting the vods, but just I'll kind of get on and you know have my morning hair in my pajamas and do some mount runs on Tuesday every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. my time. So if you subtract. Six hours and 11 minutes from right now, you will have the time for uh, for that. All right, so I need to, well, first I should probably figure out my specs. So I'm gonna try and figure out like a, like a, you know, it's probably the same as my writing spec if we're gonna be completely honest. Uh, Reaper of Souls might be worth taking. Like these bosses are gonna go down quickly, right? So lingering insanity really only kicks in after a full void form cycle. I don't know if we're gonna make that make it that long. I'm gonna try Reaper of Souls. Mind bomb, probably good. Body and soul, good. Twisted fate, fine. Uh, spirits, sure. I think there's gonna be so much movement that instead of mind bender, I should take power infusion. I think we're gonna take power infusion. Um, misery is kind of out because, I mean, there might be ad fights that misery is worth it on, but I think that power infusion is a good call. And then I'm gonna stick with Legacy of the Void. Uh, inspired by your video, I'm also doing Brawler as well, I have to catch up. Yeah, I have no idea how I forgot about this. I was, like I was saying, I was so into it. I was so, so into it. Uh, gear is fine, nine item level is fine. I'm wearing a Pride as, because that seems like a good idea. And then I have my four set and my new tier. None of my old tier, and honestly, I don't have enough haste to not be wearing my old tier, but I just didn't want to anymore. Mm. But what if you get a mount, then we won't see it? I will consider making um, stream highlights if any mounts actually drop. I will consider highlighting those moments. Because I do have access to the VODs. The reason why I don't want to put them out regularly is A, um, I don't want to spam my channel page with uh, stream VOD publishing. I don't want somebody who new who's coming to the channel and being like, oh, this is just a streamer. I don't watch streams. Bye. And um, secondly, I really, like, part of the reason why I haven't streamed in the past before is I don't wake up very quickly in the morning. I'm not super... Um, well-spoken and I uh, occasionally look like a hot mess which is fine everybody looks like a morning person in the morning but I want the freedom to mumble <laughs> and look like trash without having that on my channel forever um, obviously somebody could like clip it or record if they really wanted to but it's not that big of a deal I just I just want I just want to be able to be a little bit unprofessional and not have it haunt me okay so I need, I'm looking at the fight so the fight that I'm doing I think it was in rank like three ranks Three. It was the fire dude. His name was looking it up, looking it up. Oh gosh, I have clicked on too many things. Wowhead Wowhead, calm down. <laughs> I'm just trying to look at the guide. Rank three. Is it this guy? No. Is it this guy? Yeah, Burn Stashio, actually, the first one of rank four. His name is Burn Stashio. Covers the air in fire patches and cloaks himself in an ember shield which absorbs damage except from enemies with water shield. Okay, so I need to get water shield, apparently. Uh, you can pick up a water orb that gives you water shield. Move safely on fire for a short period of time before it falls off. If you stand underneath the fire patches, you die. Do not move when you spawn into the ring. Your entry point is safe, but the fire will spawn all around you. Okay, so we're going to start this. Actually, I'm going to queue up so that I'm actually in here. Uh, let me get some consumables, because I don't want to use this stuff. Uh, let's get some consumables rolling. We're going to need some... Give me like 50 of these and I will try and remember. Oh, I can't buy 50? Oh, I can only buy 10. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't need 50 anyways. We'll use 10 of those and uh, 10 of these probably. And then put those in my potion slots and we can queue up for the fight. So we're gonna enter the arena. We're gonna not move. We're gonna find pick up the water orb and then Continue picking up the water orb while killing Burn Stashio. We shouldn't need to keep that up for too long. We should, it shouldn't, I should have the damage to actually do it, but we'll see. Uh, gamepad working good. Ever since I made that video about my gamepad key bindings, Razor Synapse has been just like quitting on me. Like every now and then it's just like, ah, uh, do you really want that profile? What if your gamepad just is nothing? And then I restart it and then it's fine. It's just annoying. It wants me to update it and maybe that would fix it, but nine times out of 10, updating Razor Synapse has just been a disaster. Uh, oh, thanks for the two. Thanks for the uh, two euro, Jonathan Turner. Appreciate that. Loving the void hair. Hazel and vids are really good. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, I'm going to catch up because I was talking to myself for a while. Let me scroll up a little bit. Scroll, 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 scroll. 
Hi Hazel, good to see you back. Always a mood booster. Quick question, what do you think of the priest state at the moment and have you always played priest? I have been playing Shadow Priest since uh, late mop, late mop, um, and continuously ever since then. I haven't been mating anything else. And I think it's in a pretty good place. Um, Shadow Priest, I think, is always most fun when we have a couple of fights that we're very good at, you know, our, our niche, which is when there are multiple spread out sustained targets. Um, and we get that in Hounds, we get that in Coven, and to some extent in Argus. We have a couple of good fights, and we can kind of just middle of the pack on the rest of the fights. And then on A and Era, I kind of AFK. And I think that's great. I think that's fine. I don't need to be top of the pack all of the time because then they're going to nerf me. I just want a couple of good fights where I can try my best and do some really impressive numbers. And the rest of the time, I just want to show up and do my best and be on the list. Um, the one thing that I'm not happy about with Shadow Priest that I'm hoping they fix is our ability to deal with multiple mobs, stacked mobs with low health, such as imps during like a daily a world quest. Because um, since the removal of our Mind Seer, it is very hard for us to clear that and it makes it pretty much outward done impossible to why are there so many people in here why are there so many people in here I, i'm not this isn't my fight oh this is something else um something's happened here i'm running i'm running away this is is this a like a consumable that somebody uses to get help from everybody oh gosh the moose has me do i need to disperse or is, am i fine i don't understand it may, maybe it's like a special encounter that pulls other people in, or maybe there's an item that pulls people in, or maybe this is just super broken. I don't know. Oh, achievement. Progress. Rumbles. Oh, okay, rumbles. Okay, so that's normal. That's normal. Oh, that scared me. I was like, I'm not in line yet. I'm not up yet. I'm in three. Okay, that's fine. I got I got picked up by Moose, but it was it didn't hurt. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just hope that they kind of unprune Mindseer or come up with some other way for us to deal with ads. Um, it would be really great to not have to switch to Holy every time I go clear an old raid for Transmog. Um, anyone know how to find gems? I don't know how to look up coordinates in WoW. Uh, the add-on that I use for coordinates in WoW is called um, Map Chords, I believe. Map Chords, yeah. Spelled like that, Map Chords. And what's nice about that is you can open up your map and you can see here, for example, at the bottom of my screen, I hope you actually know it's probably covered by the thing. Uh, let's see here. T... Okay, so at the bottom of the screen here, you can see uh, cursor, and then it's got coordinates. So just moving your mouse, you can see how those numbers change. And by seeing how they change when you remove your mouse, you can kind of triangulate the position of the thing that you're looking for, and then see where it is in your map. Um, it'll also show you the coordinates of your, of your character currently underneath your mini map right here. And that add-on has never caused me any issues. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, that's definitely... You could also, I think, go to Wowhead and then drop a pin on the map based on coordinates. I think you can do that, but I've never bothered. It seems like a pain in the butt. Um, only goal for the new year is continuing to be sugar-free. That sounds like a good goal. That sounds like a good goal. I've been cutting down in sugar a lot because it's bad for my teeth and because it's bad for my energy levels. But I'm certainly not trying to get completely rid of it. Maybe I should. Uh, amazing to hear about the Tuesday streams. It's midnight here, but not so bad. Nice to have you on my other monitor while I do boring raid runs for mounts. I love watching streams while doing that kind of thing. Uh, amazing. Uh, I already read that one. Um, I think I'm late. Uh, oh my gosh, I finally made it to a live stream. Hi, Hazel. Hello. Uh, Emomo. Emomo. What's up? How you doing? Uh, desperate to play Shadow Priest, but I'm saving myself for Void Elves. The wait is killing me. I mean, you could, like play around on one just to practice, you know? You wouldn't be betraying your future Void Elf Priest, you would just be training. You would be training so that you can be the priest that you always knew you could be in your heart. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm probably behind, but I'm trying to I'm trying to catch a most, yeah, most chat. I want to apologize if I ever miss your message. Um, I'm not trying to intentionally skip anybody, I'm just a little bit scattered. Uh, in the BlizzCon announcement video, they call the Void Elves Illyria's Crack Elite group of Void Enhanced Blood Elves, and from then on I refer to them as Crack Elves. <laughs> Oh my, all right, I'm up next, I'm up next. Sitting up. Do I have time for some tea? Oh, somebody else fights, okay, I have time. Hi, Hazel and Chad, hi, son, how, are you, how have you been? How have you been, man? Caffeine helps. Caffeine helps with most things. Sometimes I wonder if I should have maybe avoided fostering caffeine addiction in myself. When I started drinking black tea as a teenager, I knew for a fact that it had caffeine, and I knew it would result in a caffeine addiction. 
And after having seen my mother try and quit drinking coffee several times throughout my childhood, I knew very well how debilitating that could be if you ever tried to quit it. But I don't know. It seems like within moderation, it's fine. Especially if when you're drinking caffeinated drinks like tea or coffee, especially if you, A, obviously don't overdo it. Um, B, don't drink them in a way that interferes with your sleep schedule or reduces your quality of sleep. So, for example, I will do my very best not to have black tea or tea with strong amounts of caffeine in the evening. And C, um, don't add sugar. <laughs> if you like, most of my tea I drink black, and then some of them I will drink with a little bit of milk, but still no sugar. All right, now we're actually going. Re like habitually drinking beverages with sugar, that can really get you. Okay, so I need, I'm safe here. I need to get the water orb. I cannot damage him until I get the water orb. I'm just building up insanity right now. I need to get the water orb. See, that's not fair. Where was the water orb? Oh, it's over there. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess I guess not fair is a little bit. All right, <laughs> that was that was on me. It's always on me, but I can I can do better than that. Mildly embarrassing to have that while people are watching me. I'll live. <sighs> All right, so next time I will look f f more quickly for the water or <gasps> gently pats you, hugs you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> is there brawler food that I can have? Is there brawler buff food, or do I have to actually like? eat my own. I don't want to eat my own food. I don't need to. It's not worth it. Gold exchange. Mm. Oh, I see. That's if you get the brawler's gold. Gotcha. How can I get to the brawler's place? I never entered before. I think I need an invitation, but I can't find it anywhere. Uh, that's a good question. It's been a while since I've gotten one. Yeah, so check the auction house for the brawl invitations. People used to sell them. I don't know if they still do, but back in the day, you used to be able to buy those in the auction house fairly cheap. Otherwise, you can farm them. As to what you need to farm to get one, I'm not 100% sure. I think Wowhead can probably tell you that. Thank you for becoming a sponsor, demon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I super appreciate that and the support. Um, thank you. Oh gosh, I think I'm, I think I'm, I don't know, I'm very lost in chat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a place. She got impaled yet, so that's Hi from Sweden. Hi from Oregon. Hi, this is my first live build. Video. This is my first live video. Welcome for us. Mm. Evening, Hazel. How be you? I be good, Brett. I be good. I am actually really enjoying this tea. Normally, I drink it out of a smaller cup. I have, like, a specific cup that I typically drink this type of tea out of. And today, I decided to branch out because this one never sees a whole lot of use. And it is, it is kind of cute. It's got, like, flowers on it. I'm starting to realize that I have a bit of a cherry blossom theme going on. A lot of the art that I tend to enjoy and a couple of the art prints that I have around my place are like they ha they include like asian themes and cherry blossoms my tattoo obviously is a tree with a bunch of cherry blossoms on them and i just need to be, i just need to like like my mom as a kid my mom had this reputation for having hair in art and i don't think she actually liked it she just had one and that was fine and then people started giving her hair and stuff and then she just had this huge collection that i think she kind of hated and i think it's, it's important to not box yourself in unless you're like really into the thing Although, having said that, I do kind of love herons. <laughs> Maybe I should ask her for some of it. <sighs> herons and cranes. Like, the big, awkward, lanky birds. I just, I just, they look so weird while flying, and I just kind of relate, you know? Um, you can actually say my name, where do you learn Korean? Ah, oh, shucks, I'm really glad I did it right. I'm learning through an app right now. Um, there's an app called Duolingo that I've downloaded, and I've been spending 10 minutes a day for the past, like, two months? And at this rate, after two more years, I'll actually be able to speak Korean. At, at this point in my life, I have like eight words and horrible pronunciation, but it's a, it, 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 it's a, it's a fun thing to do. Um, I totally agree. Really <laughs> miss minds here. Think a lot of world quests and old content have become a pain to do. Thank you for your opinion. Yeah. I, and I said this before, I don't need mind seer damage to be good. I just need it to exist. Um, oh yeah, you watch K-dramas? I didn't learn any Korean from K-dramas. I didn't learn anything until I started actually studying it. You learn, like, a couple of words that pop up all the time. But, um, I feel like after a certain age, it's very hard to sort of passively absorb languages. You have to actually go out of your way to kind of study it a little bit, at least. Mm. Uh, glad I could finally make a live stream. Really enjoy the videos. Also, have this going while I run old dungeons. I, good luck with your old dungeons. Are you looking for Mog? 
I guess I guess you're probably looking for Mog, because old dungeons, I guess some of them have mounts. What position in line am I? Five. <laughs> this entire stream is going to be me sitting here chatting and drinking tea, which is like my favorite thing to do. But I, if I die to this burning dude again, if Burn Statue gets me again, I'm going to be a little bit tilted. Oh, thanks, Tim. I see the super chat at the top, at the top of my chat window. I guess it'll, it'll pop up on, on uh, OBS in a second here. Do you only play Shadow? Yeah. <laughs> my guild knows better than to ask me to heal at this point. Mm. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Tim. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. Especially, honestly, the super chats and the, um, the super chats and the Patreon support and the sponsors are so important because my videos have been getting demonetized like, like they're controversial, which I try very hard to make them not. <laughs> The one about the key bindings! It's like, they, they get approved- okay, we're back. Oh no, this is the brawl. They get approved after a review, it's just you lose a couple of days of um, both ad revenue, which is one thing, but also I believe they get- like they don't get recommended or promoted, like their their ranking gets hurt. There's there's just some gnarly stuff going on on YouTube, so it really means a lot to me that there's people like you that are willing to support me directly, because otherwise I would need to get an actual job. <laughs> And I really, I, I'm really trying to work hard this year. I really, I really want to run do good for you guys. I don't know what I ever did to deserve such a wholesome and supportive audience. <laughs> uh, the sugar-free thing isn't too hard. Just use stevia. I am growing stevia, actually. I have um, here. Let me show you. Let me show you my new babies. So these are my two seed starting trades. I did them a little bit early this year. It's only January. Normally you can chill until like April and this stuff, but I always start stuff too late and then have like super tiny baby plants when I'm actually putting them outside in June. So I wanted to give things a head start. So this one is, and I've labeled them, um, the one with all the plants in it, that's basil because the basil came up really quickly. And then the other one is stevia and I have one stevia up, although to be honest with you, I'm a little bit afraid that that's a basil seed that got misplaced because none of the other stevia seeds are up. Um, and it looks kind of the same, but it might be stevia. I'll find out when it gets bigger. And then in this one, I have rosemary, which is not up yet, because I think rosemary germinates quite slowly, and then marjoram, because, um, there's a fast food restaurant around here called Burgerville. It's in the Pacific Northwest, and as far as, it's the only fast food that I'll actually eat, so if you're ever in the area, you should try it out. But, um, Burgerville had this promotion. I didn't actually go. I didn't even get to eat the fast food. But my husband went with his coworkers on his lunch break at work, and instead of like a, you know how sometimes they include weird stuff with fast food, like McDonald's has Happy Meals and, I don't know, sometimes you get weird stuff. Apparently Burgerville was giving out seed packets for herbs. You could like, and and the, the girl that he went to and got the food with got this marjoram seed packet, and she was like, I don't know what to do with this, I don't grow stuff. So she, she sent me the marjoram seeds through, through him, and I'm like, well, sure, I'll grow them. <laughs> Why not? I, I don't know if I've ever cooked with marjoram. Apparently it's kind of similar to oregano. I'll give it a shot. So I'm spreading those, and I'm planning on... Um, I always plant way too many seeds, and then I don't have the heart to thin out my plants. Like, you're supposed to cull them so that the other ones can have resources so you don't end up with, like, 30 different plants. But I never have the heart to do that, so I'll probably take some extra... give her an extra seedling or two and be like, here's your marjoram! <laughs> Sprouted it for you. Have fun. Oh, did you ever try BM Hunter? I spent a little bit of time as a BM Hunter. I kind of realized after a little bit of time, like after I got my Spirit Beasts, I was kind of like, you know what? This is a great alt to have for the purposes of doing world quests on alts for um, Pet Charms and Marks of Honor. This this character looks great on my loading screen. I don't need to play it. <laughs> I have so many things that I want to do on my on my priest that I don't get around to. That I want to make sure, um, sorry, there's, uh, there's a speck in my tea and I can't tell if it's tea, which sometimes does filter through, or if I drop dirt in there. Hello. Are you tea or are you dirt? And this is kind of an earthy flavored tea. I guess I'll never find out. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody ever died from, from drinking half a gram of pot as well. Do you have to have rep to unlock the new races? Yes, you do, Tanner. Yes, you do. Um, there are guides online and on the various... I don't have one yet. I should. Uh, maybe I'll do that next week. But there are guides online that go over what reps you need to gain. They are reps currently available in-game. Things like Nightfallen, of course, for Nightborn. Things like um, Argusian Reach for Void Elves. And uh, probably Army of Light for Lightborn. I'd be shocked if that wasn't one. 
but a lot of new legion reps that you need in order to do that high mountain i'm sure for high mountain touring your cat looks comfy af yeah that cat is top tier at being comfy the comfiest cat and let's a little more. What's your favorite treasure from the Hearthstone dungeon run so far? Mine has to be Wish. Wish has saved my butt at least once. It saved a run at least once. Um, I am kind of torn on my favorite treasure. I really like Battlecry and Death Rattle Totems when you can build crazy combo decks, but lately I've been having horrible luck with getting the combo cards that I need. So, um, Glyph of Warding is actually really boring, but really solid. It's the one that makes enemy minions cost one more. It just slows down their opener and lets you get more time to ramp, and I always tend to get kind of greedy and go for valuable cards later in my run, even if I don't have a great mana curve in my deck. So that's good for me. It gives me more time to ramp up to the cool stuff that I've actually built. Um, so, yeah, well, it's not, it's not my favorite, though. What's my favorite treasure? Sidekick, loyal sidekick's a bro, but I don't always take him. That's really hard. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's Sadie Spirit Wolf 7.1. Oh, I've never heard of that brand. Noise isolating with a breathing LED light. Oh, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. All right. I have a story for you guys. I'm going to try and remember to tell after I'm done. All right. We're going to get the orb as soon as we see it. So that is the number one priority. Not building insanity, although we can. So we stay put, and the orb is over there. Okay, so I need to get that orb. Where is it now? 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 What? How are you supposed to do this? How am I supposed to get over there? There was fire. I don't understand. I'm going to read some comments on WoWhead. <laughs> How... I guess I should queue up and then read some comments in my head because I'm going to be in line again. Uh, let's see here. I like I, I, I get the premise of the fight as has been explained to me. I ju I'm just missing something. Definitely missing something. I feel like this one's going to be kind of a wall because it has an instant kill mechanic. I've accidentally gone to Russian Wowhead. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, this is Russian Wowhead. I want regular Wowhead. Ah, <laughs> how did I do that? There we go. Do not move. Okay. All right, so there are other people. There are clouds that you can see that open the path through the plains. So I can follow the clouds. Stand in a freshly quenched square, follow the rain path. Okay, I did see the clouds. I didn't see the clouds extinguishing the rain. You don't need to run into the orb head on. Being in an adjacent square is enough to trigger it. Boss is still mind-blowingly hard for rain for. Okay. Completely RNG fight, depends on a lot of RNG. All depends on where the rain ball is and the fire pattern you get. Okay. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. Oh, uh, that's another, it's another, one of these dudes, one of these things. At least, at least every now and then it throws me in one of these fights because we can win these ones. I can actually do something here. Let's dot up some stuff. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm fixated again. Apparently they're fixate heavy. I'm just going to run into this corner and hope that it's dead before it gets to me. Although it's kind of got a lot of health. Uh, stacking, stacking, greatly, de greatly devouring anything, damage taken reduced. How do I increase its damage taken? Where's Doug? Doug. I can only tab target to those two, which is kind of what's confusing me. I think I need to hit others. Oh, no, who do I hit? <laughs> I don't know what this fight is. <sighs> Damage taken reduced by eighty. Okay, so it's the buff is falling off at least. Uh, ninety-nine. There's a specific one that I need to do. Are we supposed to stand the hippo in some of these things? It's gonna berserk soon. Well, in a minute. Probably gonna fixate me. <laughs> I don't know how to do this fight. Alright, well now it only has two stacks, so 40%. We can kill through 40% damage. Assuming, and it'll probably drop more. Something is gonna happen to make it drop more. Ow. Go away. Go away. Shoo. Shoo! Mm. 
One stack. Berserk from 30, that's fine. Sipo's going down. It's kind of scary. It kind of reminds me of the rhino. Like, from this angle, it looks very much like the rhino in the clouds from James and the Giant Peach. Okay. There we go. I'm pumped to play a Nightborn because, in honesty, I haven't played Alliance in a long time. Nightborn. You mean a Void Elf? Because Nightborn are Horde. <laughs> which class mode is your favorite? I assume that you're going to answer the Priest one, but if I Blacklist one, which comes after? Um, I've always really, like, not even counting the Priest one, although I don't know if that's my favorite. It's cool, but it's not, like, up there. I really like the Rogue one. The Rogue bird? I love simple... Lightly armored mounts, like very little armor, simple mounts that that um, are just animals, right? Like when mounts are too weird and too crazy, that doesn't really fit into the bizarre fantasies I had as a kid of like meeting a tiger and being its best friend. But a giant raven that's just a raven, I think that's really cool. I think that's cooler than like a, a green and purple fire raven with daisies, you know? Okay, we're, we're catching up. What time zone is Hazel in? Pacific time. West coast. West coast. Alright. I, I, I think I just have to skip ahead. I don't even know how to, how to scroll at this point. I don't think I could play this game at all without Wowhead. Yeah. I have, um, I have my ups and downs with Wowhead. Occasionally the site just doesn't function the way I want it to as far as, like, browser slowdowns or it'll occasionally crash. Um, it's not always perfect, but I do make a lot of use of the information I can get from there and I appreciate what the site runners are trying to do. Hi Hazel, what gaming glasses would you recommend? Been thinking about buying some for a while now. Do you notice a difference with them on? I can't tell if they make a big difference for me or if I just got used to wearing them, but I, I always wear them. I, things look really uncomfortably bright for me without them. Um, the only time I ever take them off is if I'm doing color correction. Uh, thanks for the five, Grumpy Warlock. For the alliance. For the alliance. Um, yeah, the glasses. So these are gamma ray glasses, and I like them because they're cheap. And apparently they're very durable. I've had these for years now. They have a slight yellow tint to them. And they're, they were like 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than like a Gunners. I'm sure Gunners are fine too. I've just never had one. These are the only ones I've ever tried. Um, I hate the Pac-Man fight. It's so annoying. Uh, which fight are we on, gang? We're trying to do Burn Statue. I've died to him twice just because there's been no path to the, to the water orb. I'm going to try again. Uh, Rush be wide. That one is a patience play until you get to the bubble. If it's just off the path, you can jump to it. Okay. Soon you can consult Korean Wowhead. I, I like watching Korean streamers and I want to be able to just like chat and fit in. It'll really widen the pool of, of stream communities that I can belong to, I think. Um, stand still, find out where the clear paths are leading. Newly cleared spaces are safest. Follow the path to the orb and win. Do you ever use the couch behind you? Never on stream, but in life, yeah, sometimes. Um, sometimes I'll have my laptop or my tablet there and I'll work from there. I've been known to take the very occasional nap on that couch when I, like, need a nap, but I don't want to go sleep in bed because I'll sleep for too long. Um, and... Yeah, it's honestly, it's... Actually, I have some stuff to say about the couch, but let's, let's do this first. Alright, so the orb is... Oh, come on now. Alright, well, that was my fault because I... That was my fault because I twitched a little bit. I moved a little bit to the right, or the left, actually, when it when it spawned. And I uh, shouldn't have done that. I knew better. I knew better. Let's try that again. Mm. <laughs> this entire stream is going to be this one boss. Um, it's a maze. You navigate to the ball. I know that. The path opened up behind you. I did not see that. Pac-Man fight was awful. It's not kind of the visually impaired. I kept clipping a pixel somewhere and instant dying. I, I remember that fight. That one was rough. Katie, are you done? Are you done? Are you leaving? Should I turn off your camera? Do you want to get on this camera? Hi. It's going to be hard to beat Brinstachio. What's up? There you go. There you go. Hi. Hi, baby. Mmm. Uh, I don't know how to enable this add-on. Same way you would enable any other add-on. I'm scared. Don't forget your brawler pre-pots. Oh, I, I did forget to pre-pot. You're right. That wouldn't have helped me in that one, but I did forget to pre-pot. Thinking about the story of battle. <laughs> Hazel's nut army is here. Don't be creepier. We will rise up and smite you. <laughs> oh, I see. There was a deleted message. Uh, I curse way more than Hazel when I play WoW. You curse more than stream Hazel. 
you may not curse more than IRL Hazel. It's t tough to say. I, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of filthy messed up, man. Have you made a Shadow Priest guide? I did, actually. I made a uh, up-to-date 7.3 Shadow Priest guide. It's uh, recent on my channel. If you look at the WoW videos, it should be within the last two weeks or so. Hazel is taking die in a fire to the extreme. I'm not specifically trying to die in the fire. Kitty, why am I dying in the fire? <laughs> I have a feeling that if we can just get past this one, it, maybe it won't be super smooth sailing, but, you know, we'll be able to move forward. Constant reminder of what happens in real life when standing in fire. You got this, Hazel? Man. I'm not going to spoil the book, even though it's been out for like 10 years, but I was just reading, I just finished actually, I finished my recent reread of A Dance with Dragons, which is the fifth book in the Song of Ice and Fire series that the Game of Thrones TV show is based off of. And there's a section in the later chapters where a character has been badly burned. And it, it just, it's just, it's just really gross. <laughs> I would really hate to die in a fire. Of all the ways to die, fire is not like... I've read The English Patient. I don't I don't need to go there. I kind of want to try an orb weaver after your video, but it's got a razor price tag. Yeah. The G13, the Logitech version, I used that for years, and that one is much cheaper. Much, much cheaper. Less than half the price. Um, the one thing, the only, the biggest selling point of the razor over the Logitech is that the razor one, the orb weaver specifically, has mechanical keys, whereas the Logitech one has membrane keys. And that was only a problem for me because I literally wore out the membrane keys through extensively using my G13 for years. So I think the G13 is a great entry point to figure out if you like game pads and kind of get used to it. And like we use that for a couple of years, it eventually wears out. You decide that you want a mechanical one, then you kind of transition into the into the more expensive one later. Um, the key bindings move over very smoothly. They have basically the same key load. It's very similar. <sighs> Had to leave and make a sandwich because I was hungry. What did I miss? Uh, I've died to this boss, I think, three times now. Um, and I haven't killed any yet. So we're off to a good start. I guess I should flip over to my real account. Bro, Hazel, you have the best cat. Yeah, bro. Bro. Top rank cat right here, okay? Top quality cat. Fair enough. Timmy! Yo, Timmy, sup, man? How you been? How you been? It's been a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Blackwood Hazel died in... Oh, my Lexi Black could died in fire. I did die in fire. Do you like Gen Greymane? I like um, Battle for Azeroth trailer Gen Greymane best because he is very fluffy and I would like to pet him. But, um, and, I, and I enjoy his accent. As a character, I don't actually know much about him as a character. I've kind of missed what the Gilmeans are up to. I've only ever really seen them from the point of view of the Forsaken when playing through Silverpine Forest, and that's been a while. The lag is real, I am buffering like a mofo. Oh, on the stream? Stream health seems good on my end. Hopefully it's okay. Not the only one having problems with the stream. Buffering a lot here too now, okay. My cat is slapping my face with his tail. Okay, we're up. Follow the path to the blue orb. Don't move right away. So, here's the rain. Oh, I see, it moves like this. I see, I thought it spawned in big chunks, okay. So we follow the maze. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. The orb. I don't actually know where the orb is. I'm just following the maze. I'm just following the rain cloud. Oh, there's the orb. But, okay, well, at least now I understand. The orb was back there. <sighs> we can do it, team, I believe. I, I like to preach that you should never give up, and I am not going to give up today. Hiding on my Grumpy Warlock account? Oh, is that you? Oh! Fire. So you have two Twitter accounts too then, if that if that is in fact you. Green background for the tea is gone? Oh, true, yeah. I turned it off when I was showing, um, I turned that off when I was showing a thing, but I can turn it back on. That's the one. I logged off and back on and fixed my lag. Haven't had any lag. Keep Greymane as a pet. Hey Hazel, I always watch the VOD streams, finally catching a live one. I love your videos. Keep up the awesome job. Been on a Hazel binge. Well, thanks, NM Recovery. What does that stand for? Nanometer. 
Nut mob. You're getting really unlucky orb placement. Yeah. Now that I now that I understand that the rain clouds move, I thought it spawned in a setting and then in another setting. And that you just had to have a clear path to the orb with your first setup. And now I understand that that's not true. But <laughs> if I die to this a couple more times, you guys may hear a worse word than butts. <laughs> After Burn Statue, it gets easier for two fights, but then the final boss will make you question things. All right. Okay. I just gotta believe myself. It's but I mean, I raided last night. I should have some awareness skills. Although, I like to say that everybody gets 15% dumber the second they turn on the stream. Just the act of multitasking kind of drains some of your focus, and it's much easier to make mistakes when your attention is split. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. Uh, we are fourth in line. I have some time. My tech followers were getting upset at the WoW content. Oh, I see, I see. Well, that makes sense to kind of split things up like that then. I have this, um... Okay, what's your item level? Uh, I'm level 953. I have this bizarre desire that I'm hoping just goes away because I don't think I really want to do it, but I kind of want to do it. I have this addiction. <laughs> it is fair to call it an addiction to watching K-pop reaction videos. And I kind of want to make some, but obviously I wouldn't put them on this channel because that's just asking for trouble. I could put them on my other channel. Like, I have a second channel that I don't use, and the idea behind there is kind of for any video that I want to make that just blatantly super does not fit into the main channel, I could put up there. But obviously I'm not going to spend any time making a peripheral video like that until I'm, like, ridiculously caught up. Like, I want to be caught up and then a full week ahead on, um, on, on WoW YouTube videos before I start messing around with any other projects. My item level is 953. 953. Brawler's Guild entrance for Alliance is in the Deep Run Tram. So in the Dwarven District of the Alliance, so top right-hand side of the map, um, you want to go into the tram. And then once you're zoned into the tram, go into the bottom and run along kind of Iron Forge word. Run along the bottom and you'll find the entrance. Uh, by the way, Hazel, props for UI guides. Mine is still F beyond all help, but it's better than default. It's just a work in progress. Just make it a little bit better every day. Tweak it a little more every day, and then in a month, it will be beautiful, I believe. I believe. Hey, Hazel, happy Friday. I uh, wish I could stay longer, but I have class in a little while. Have a good stream. Thank you, Chelsea. I hope that you're still here by the time I finally got around to reading your message, but I appreciate the thought regardless. Um, these are tuned for Emerald Nightmare level gear. Yeah, well, the fire is tuned to instant kill you in any gear, so I'm not going to feel too bad yet. Uh, I don't play Horde. Is there any justification for Sylvanas' actions in Gilneas? I have no idea. I just got a call from scammers. They said there was a problem with my Windows. So I told them I used Apple and then they transferred me to the Apple department. You told them to use Linux and they hung up. Yeah. I've never had that, but then again, I don't answer my phone. So that's probably a good prerequisite to getting scam calls. You never finished the awfully big adventure achievement. So that is my project for this weekend. Incur, Hazel, in love with your shirt, Anime here. I, I love this shirt. I wish I played a better Ana. I had a, a phase in my life, in my Overwatch life where I really wanted to get better at playing Ana, and I practiced it a lot, and I did get better, but not as better as I wanted to be. And then I just haven't had a lot as much time for Overwatch. Okay, before I, before I get caught up, I had a story. What was my story? I'm next again. Was it the K-pop reaction thing? No, it was a different story. Drat, I think I've forgotten. It's, Im it's impossible to remember things on stream. Uh, BTS? Yeah, Haruma, are you an army? <laughs> are you a BTS army? That would be the weirdest thing that's ever happened if you were just randomly a, a huge BTS fan. K-pop reacts, though, they can be addicting. They can be. I've had to forbid myself from getting into any new reactors. I have two channels that I will watch every new thing that they come out with. And I'm not letting myself try it anymore. I do not want to fall in love with any new reaction channels because I just can't keep up with it. It's too much time. It's too much time. No DPS meter or am I blind? Uh, I can turn it on and off. I'm not worrying about it right now because right now I just need to not instantly die so I can actually kill this dude. Okay, we're trying again. I'm ignoring you guys. Super ignore. All right. Let's try again. Oh, 
Oh, uh, I should get the spirit healer dude if I can. Uh, sounds yummy. Gotta start making dinner. Steak bites, naan, and zucchini fries. That sounds like so many things. I only ever make like one dish at a time for dinner. Like I'll serve multiple things, but only one of them will be something that takes actual effort. <laughs> Is your guild going to be doing mythic progression? No, no, we have never done mythic progression. We clear her rook, get her rook down to a one night clear, farm that for a while, then take a break until the next expansion. We would have to run our guild differently if we wanted to be a mythic guild. There would be some changes that would need to happen, and we're not prepared to make those changes. We would prefer to just kind of like be casual, have fun, don't work too hard, and kill her rook. Uh, battle pet videos are fantastic. Do you have any instructional videos on how to play a shadow priest? I do. I do. I have a beginner 7.3 Shadow Priest guide that I recently put out that I worked really hard on that hopefully should help you out. It should be under the World of Warcraft playlist in my channel and it should be fairly recent. Or you can just search for Hazel Shadow Priest guide and you'll probably find it. Mind that you get the one that says 7.3 on it. There's one that will teach you how to do Warlords of Draenor style dot weaving that will no longer do you the slightest bit of good. Has anyone asked why she doesn't stream on Twitch yet? Not today! Not today! I wish I could have um nutbot give links because then I could have some chat commands to pull up links to videos in which I answer questions. Uh, your hair looks cute and flashy with that top. I'm shook. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Uh, try playing Moira if you haven't. She's incredible. I'm a really bad Moira. I'm a terrible Moira. I, I, I understand the concept of the hero, but I'm not good at it. I haven't been playing Overwatch a whole lot lately. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. We're gonna... How do I do the spirit healer thing again? Like, you have to buy it. Do you have to buy it with, uh, Brawler's Coins? Yeah, 250. I do have quite a few of them. Is there anything else that I'm saving up for? I think that this is a worthwhile investment. Deliver to Lydia Payton. Okay. This lady, probably. That one. Anyone doing no alcohol in the new year? I'm coining the term no gin January. Uh, not me. Not me. I have been taking a little bit of an alcohol break because, um, as often happens around the holidays, there were quite a few drinks around the holidays, so I'm kind of recharging my health <laughs> for a little bit. Um, but I like my, I like my, my occasional, my occasion. I, there, I, there's two different situations in which I drink. I like my glass of wine in a bubble bath while I pretend that I'm like 50, and I like, um, Mixing drinks with my friends while we hang out and play Overwatch or WoW or whatever. Not all the time, but every now and a weekend night, me and a couple buddies will stay up late and do that, and it's pretty fun. Uh, why do you put all of your abilities on the left side of your screen? I don't like them in the middle. Um, this setup just kind of makes sense to me. I understand that it's asymmetrical and that might trigger some people, but I really like this setup. The, this little square is technically divided into two 3x4 grids. The grid on the right hand side is my mouse keybinds for my G600 mouse grid, and the grid on the left is my gamepad uh, keybinds for my Razor Orb Weaver. It's just set in a way that kind of makes a lot of fun for me. It's set up in a way that makes a lot of sense to me. Keybinds aren't fun. Nobody has fun keybinding. If you see that definitely jumping around you, that's me, Morgan. <laughs> oh, the Death Knight. Oh. Hashtag butts. My best friend is the biggest BTS fan in the world, so she shows me all the new songs as they come out. Oh yeah, everybody needs that friend. I am that friend for some people. I don't think I'm like super crazy about any individual group. I just enjoy watching new popular stuff as it comes out and then and then watching like watching all of it and then listening to a fair bit of it too. But I'm always I have this one buddy that I'm always linking random K pop videos to. I'm like, yo, this is brand new. Hot stuff, fresh off the press. You know, gotta see it first day. Hazel may need a drink now. Uh, struggle's real. I was gonna say you moved left. I did move left, you're right. No one knows more than BTS about I do. I mean, there's some people that know a lot about BTS. I know some about BTS. I know all of their names. I cannot assign all of their names correctly to all of the individuals, though. I can- I can- I can identify Jungkook and Rat Monster. I can identify J-Hope now. Jin V and Suga, at this point in my life, they're a little similar to me. I still need a little more time to get those straight. And I'm forgetting one because I know there's seven of them. Whoops, guess I don't know that much. Silently sips tea. Uh, I think I would have rage quit by now. I, I, I like to think that um, 
and I'm saying this a little early, it's still early in the stream, there's plenty of time for me to rage quit later, but I like to think that Dark Souls, and playing Dark Souls kind of obsessively has inoculated me a bit against rage quitting. What mount is that? It's beautiful. Um, I've been riding the Violet Spellwing. That is the new moose mount of Legion. It's the one that you get for killing heroic Argus in Antorus the Burning Throne. I don't think doing Mythic is way too much. I already have a job. Get the Spirit Healer up. Yeah, we did that. I'm probably behind in chat again, aren't I? Look at the Mountain of Gnome Skeletons. <laughs> Me. Me. Neglecting the pocket camp. I have been neglecting my pocket camp. I have- alright, we're up again. Not moving- shit, I moved. Also, I said a bad word. Oh, no, I'm empty. I'm- I'm naked? What just happened? What just happened? I thought I was fighting Burnstachio. I haven't beat a single fight yet. <laughs> okay, so they take away your gear, you run away from the Crocolith. Okay, I'll run away next time. Do you kill them or you just you just run? Okay. You don't have to beat them, you just have to survive. Okay. Alright. I just I just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I thought I was fighting Burnstachio again. Nightbot can give links XD. I can have this one give links as well. I think it has to do with my link permissions in YouTube. I need to figure out how to set them up so that mods can link but non-mods can't because I don't really want to police random links. But if I can make it so mods can link then I can have Nightbot- or not Nightbot, Fussbot. I can have my Hazel Nightybot link stuff. It's not as intense as people think it is. Tomb was just too hard. I don't think Mythic Raid would be necessarily that intense. We just have a really laid back guild atmosphere and we only raid six hours a week at most. And once we have the raid down we've been one night clear, we kind of raid two hours a week. And that's the right amount of time for me. I'm actually really excited to get my second raid night back already. And we've only been back for a few weeks. Oh man. You're terrible at Moira with that attitude. You're right. You're absolutely right. I feel like in Overwatch you just like, you can't spread yourself out too thin. It's good to, to play different heroes, and I think it's good to have one hero prepared of each role in case you need to fill. Maybe even two heroes prepared of each role, but you can't play everything, and I think I'm okay with writing that one off as one that I, one that I don't play. Uh, does she have 1,337 coins? Do I? If I did, I probably, I, I probably did, and then I spent some. I may have had. Only things to buy are specific encounter items and buffs for the room. Okay, well then I may as well just keep the spirit healer up. I'm guessing you're switching to a Void Elf when it comes out. That is, in fact, my plan. Okay, let's see if this guy can do it. Alright, so he's running. He's running. Is there, like, a spectating thing that I can get into? I'm short. Remote viewing console. Okay, running. Yeah. So he needs to get to the orb, which is all the way in the far end of the room. Can't kill it yet. No, you need to get to your orb. Could he jump from it? Okay, now he can get to it. He can be adjacent. Alright. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it. No! You're running the wrong way! I say as I police somebody else doing an encounter that I have not successfully finished myself. It's over there! He may not know about the water orb. Or maybe he knows and he just didn't see it. What's smoking? There we go. Oh, there you go. There we go. I feel like... Wait, did he get it? No, he still has a shield. Didn't quite get it. So once you have the orb, you're immune to the fire. Presumably. So you could jump into it and then land in the fire because you would pick it up before you got the fire. That's my understanding. This guy might be doomed. Yep. Alright, well, it's not just me. <laughs> I feel better that it's not just me. But no, I have totally been neglecting pocket camp because I, uh... How do I get out of this thing? There we go. Um, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. It was distracting me. Also, I had a, like, a f three, four day craft going on for the third rank of rustic amenities, so that was gonna take a while. Hazel, how goes your night? Night's going all right. Night's going pretty good. Night, night'll go better once I kill this boss, but. How was your holiday party you went to? Oh, gosh, that was, that was, it's fine. It's fine. We didn't know anybody there. We didn't know a single person. Well, he did, because it was his workplace, but none of the people that he works with that I know were there. So it was just uh, an hour or two of eating standard catering food, uh, shaking hands with people that I'm never going to meet again. 
or might meet again and then pretend that I remember their names from a year ago. And uh, I had a couple drinks, actually. I had some cider. That was good. <laughs> not a big party person unless I know somebody at the party. I have a, I'm, not, I'm not outgoing enough to just make friends quickly. I am a slow burn as far as friendship goes. You inspired me this weekend. My hair is going pink. I hope I'm not too old to pull it off. You are not too old to pull it off. I don't even know how old you are, and I can tell you that you're not too old. You're not too old. I was worried about it. And then people, like my stream, uh, very correctly informed me that you live your life. Flush your liver. I need to eat something. AFK. See you, Adam. How do you keep your bags so empty? Normally they're not. I've just done a, uh, I did a, a bit of a, a house cleaning. All right. Don't move. Don't move. Not moving. Not moving. Although if they hit me with uh, crocodiles again, then I will move. All right. Here he is. We're heading backwards. Where is the orb? Where is the orb? I don't see it yet. Forward, 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 forward. forward. I actually don't see the orb. I don't see the orb. Oh, there it is. There it is. I need to get close to it. There it is. Oh! I should do this in the middle of the night when I have a shorter wait time between encounters. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm perfectly happy to die to this all day. But, uh, I almost had it. I think I can kill him in one orb. I just need to get it, you know? I almost had it. I almost had it. Four. Okay. All right. Catching up a little bit. Catching up a little bit. Well, I say I'm catching up. Who is ready to be thrown in the crocodile pit? We're having a great day today with the Brawler's Guild. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hazel, do you warlock? No, I have one. Don't play it. I haven't played it since Mop. Mm. I guess I leveled it enough to try and farm the Hateful Eye Pet, which somebody eventually took pity on me and just gave to me. But did somebody give me the Hateful Eye or did somebody help get one? I think I think I did it with somebody and theirs dropped and they gave it to me. I think that's what happened. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I, I, I pretty much just play Shadow. I have been playing this Holy for a while. Thank you for tempting me to play Shadow. Holy is best for old world, old world raiding due to Holy Nova still. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Absolutely agree. Oh, man. Time to get the kiddos. Have a great weekend, Hazel. See you, Timmy. Bro status. Bro status. How have you been, Nico? Thank you, random quotes. Uh, let me let me see if I can read this. Uh, I think it's a random quote. Ambition... Oh, it's gone. Hang on. I'm going to pull it up. There we go. Ambition... Ambition may turn into love in a blink of the eye, in a blink of an eye, but love never changes into ambition. However, when the object of love disappears, ambition awakens again. For the Aldmiri, wrong game for the Horde. I don't know what game Aldmiri is from. That is a kind of a deep quote. I feel like I need to think about that one for a while to really, to really process it. You've been playing Dark Souls 2? So much rage. You wanted to throw my new PC game controller? You always gotta be nice to your equipment. You be nice to your equipment, your equipment will be nice to you. But I totally understand. Dark Souls is an exercise in patience. But I believe that it's a good exercise in patience. Like, it, it's, it's, it's good to kind of... Kind of work through that frustration. And get used to the paradigm where hard work makes you better. You know, the game the game never has pity in you. It doesn't I'll oh, see that yeah, you got the orb. So proud. It just The game's never gonna hold your hand. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Um But, you know, you don't give up and eventually you will you will prevail. I love my end of the week Friday, hanging with the nut stream. It's a nice way to end a stressful week. I agree. Although I've never really thought of my week as ending on Fridays. Alright, we're going again. I've kind of taken to working weekends. Alright. The orb. Where is it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes! Yes! I have it. I have it. Alright, it lasts for 11 seconds. There will be a new one. I need to kill him though. I need to kill him. I only have 5 seconds left. Oh, yeah! Yay! 
Oh, I was getting worried. Oh, man. Oh. Need a good stretch. Thank you so much for the fishing guide. It's so worth it. Y'all, I'm so glad you got that. I wish I was on Lightbringer right now. You went to your UGS holiday party. It was awesome. Food was great. It's good. Can't complain. Wine was good. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I should have a better attitude. It was a perfectly fine party. It wasn't bad. Nobody pointed at me and laughed. Nobody threw fruit at me. I didn't embarrass myself horribly. Um, I did have kind of a fun experience in which one of his coworkers um, asked what I did. And I gave the very, very short version. And then uh, he asked for clarification. And then my husband like gave him a little more information. And then once he kind of like understood what I did... And that I did it full time. He he had like 30 seconds of like processing that reaction. And I just kind of like stood there watching him, waiting for him to finish like making processing sounds. It was, it's hard to describe. It was just really funny. It was, he just, it just wasn't done yet. Come down from that high. <laughs> I just wanted to savor that moment for a second, you know? My best friend got me into Dark Souls 2. He has been helping me get into it, but I have died from falling off ledges. Bosses sending me flying. Enemies sneaking up and being trapped chests. Yeah. It's a game full of lots of dying, but you can always try again. You have to pick up the pink orbs for buffs, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Why don't you raid Mythic? Uh, I, I like the casual lifestyle of heroic raiding. Um, in our guild, you don't get benched for really any reason unless you're really, really anchoring things down. Thanks, thanks Timmy for the two. Congrats, Hazel, and good night all. Have a good night, Timmy. But in my guild, um. You have to be really causing problems to get benched. Uh, we don't really manage the the raid comp or the raid size. Like, you can play whatever class you want. You will always have a spot in the raid as long as you're showing up. Um, and we don't have to have, like, radio silence in our voice chat when we're doing fights unless it's, like, a super tense progression moment. Like, you can kind of chat and make jokes and have fun. And it's fine because we're not trying to clear cutting-edge content. Oh, man. People always throw fruit at me at parties. <laughs> it's so hard to describe my job to other people. Yeah. I am mostly spared of that fate because I don't really talk to other people. I'm kind of actually a hermit to a dangerous level. I need to get out and make some friends, but it's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I should just stay in and stay in and make more videos. All right. So signing me up for a fight. Next fight. Let me look it up right now. Let me look it up. So after Bird Stash here, we do Meatball. Meatball. I'm still on Russian Wowhead. I want to be on regular Wowhead. I don't know how I accidentally ended up on Russian Wowhead. Mm, there we go. Alright. He has a debuff. Purple orbs. Picking these up gives you a buff. Second to 50 times. Okay, so I just pick up the pink orbs, which is what you were saying. Collect the orbs and uh, kill him. Try and get him before Meatball Mad. Belly feels funny. He will explode. Gotcha. Okay. So pick up orbs. Kill him. It seems good. We can do that. We can do that. Hey from Sweden, Hazel. Hi, Massive Dynamics. Recently started watching your videos and gotta say you're awesome. Your streaming style is relaxing. I am very glad that you enjoyed. It's relaxing for me too. This is the most social interaction I get all week. <laughs> uh, casual rating is the best rating coming from a former top 10 guild raider in Wrath. High-end rating is too time-consuming when done correctly. Yeah. It's just... I, I understand that it's very... Like, I admire other people that do that. Like, they, they, they find something that they value, and they commit to it, and they make it happen. I think that's inspiring, and I think that the satisfaction that you get from clearing a really challenging boss would make that very, very rewarding. But it's not a sacrifice that I want to make in my life. And that's fine. That's fine. I always like to say that you, you play WoW whatever way you want to, as long as you're not inconveniencing other people as long as you're not you know affecting the way anybody else is trying to play their game you play you do whatever you want if all you want to do is fish and sell your fish you go be a fish seller you know don't feel like you're not playing wow right because you're not playing it the same way everybody wants you to mm. welcome to wowhead comrade <laughs> Have you made it to a BlizzCon? Never. Not once. Kind of scared. Um, I'm saving aggressively and going to do my very best to go next year. 
I, I don't want to guarantee it, but I'm going to, I'm going to really do my best. I really hope that my, um, I have a minor issue that shouldn't be a problem. It probably won't get me deported. Um, there's been, there's been some shenanigans going on with my, um, my immigration status. It's probably fine. We're just waiting on an action from USCIS. And I don't want to fly or travel really until I have that sorted out. If for whatever reason November rolls around and that situation is not fixed, then I won't be able to go. But hopefully it's fine. Should be fine. I think we're I think we're looking I think we there's a call we have to make this weekend. Hopefully they don't want too much more money from us, because so far it's been kind of extortional. Uh, hey Hazel, I recently got my time lost Proto Drake and my Grey Camel from Dormus Gratz. That is two mouths that I do not have. All right, I'm. Uh, this is another. This is another one of these guys. Okay, I can do it. Run for your lives. Okay, I'm running. So this, we don't kill it. We just run, and we're naked. Okay. Can I sprint myself? I can. I don't want to get cornered. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm scared. All right, that one's gone. Good. That one's gone. How long do we have to do this for? Oh, I see. This is the same thing. Oh, okay. That's why it kicked. It put me into one that wasn't um, the one I had queued for. It was. It was a brawl or a whatever you call these. A rumble. It was a rumble. There just weren't. I didn't see anybody else in it, which is why I was confused. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Did any? All right, that guy's still going. Nubtastics, we believe. Go! Oh yeah. Sometimes they just kind of spawn on you. <laughs> He's so glad to catch a live stream. Hi, chat. Up, Kaluren? A lot of my friends are mythic raiders. They always seem stressed and tired. Heroic really is the happy medium, especially when you're raiding with friends. Ah. I like it. I always liked the power of gear that I got from Heroic. Felt good enough. I always felt pretty strong out in the world doing my quests. That's all I really needed from it. And also, it's a it's an enjoyable time with my friends. Like I raid I raid to have fun with my guild. New emote time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's sort that in. So, I have. Let me double check to make sure it's one. But I'm pretty sure I have one open emote slot. All of our emotes so far have been handcrafted by yours truly, with my lack of drawing skills. But I do my best. Uh, let's see, community, sponsors, let's check our sponsor numbers. We have got 23 sponsors, thanks guys. Uh, custom emojis, we have one open spot, uh, and we're seven away from two open spots. We're not gonna worry about that now, but we have one open spot. So far, our emotes are, and I will put these in chat, Hazel Cry, Cat, Love, and Wave. So, so far, let me type these up. We have, where's my chat window? Hazel Cat. Hazel Cry, Hazel Love, and Hazel Wave. And I'm open to replacing these because honestly, nobody seems to really use them. <laughs> uh, you can only use the emotes if you're a sponsor. So obviously the pool of people that are able to use them is more limited, but those are the, our existing emotes. Um, you guys, for the next minute or two, uh, if you want to, if you have any ideas, suggest in chat um, your idea for a new emote that you would like to see on the, on, on the chat, on the channel. And then once I have a couple of ideas that I like, we can uh, make a poll and everybody can vote on them. So I'm thinking like we could do Hazel T, uh, or there's like Hazel Deal, which could be like a sunglasses one. Okay, so I need to pick up purple orbs, purple orbs. There's one, All right, purple, 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 purple. He doesn't seem to hurt too badly through pride as yet. All right, now we're, now we're doing some damage. We need more. You stack up to 50. Random quotes, I will read your quote. Thank you for the donation. I will read your quote as soon as I sort out meat meatball here. All right, that, that's 20. Could probably use some more. But we need to we need to do this pretty quickly. That's 25. Can I kill him with 25? Seems to go pretty good. There we go. Got him. Cool. Right? Do I have to do anything else? It's not over yet. Oh, his belly gurgles. There we go. Okay. This is kind of a sad quote. Uh, when cats are near death, they leave their owner's side. I'm sure that's exactly how I feel. I want to disappear while they can think what a... Oh, I wonder if she's doing okay. Have a good evening. I hope you're all right, random quotes. It's kind of a concerning quote. 
especially if it's if it's something that you're saying personally i hope you're all right and that if you're not okay that you um know 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 where to go to to seek some help when i die my cat's 100 percent gonna eat me <laughs> and that's fine i try and eat nice and clean so that i taste good when she's devouring my flesh i just hope that i'm dead first i heard a really disturbing story where somebody died or somebody was like they had a stroke or they were stunned or paralyzed in some way and their dog i guess thought they were dead but they weren't dead and their their beloved pet dog this is kind of a morbid story to be telling on stream but their beloved pet dog they needed facial reconstruction surgery because their dog was kind of eating their face a little bit while they couldn't move not not a very not a very friendly story i'm back welcome back nico um you need a pink pigtailed gnome face like me Oh, for the emo. Okay, right. Emote ideas. Emote ideas. I didn't even know this chat had custom emotes. It's just like Twitch, um, where, where subs or sponsors, as they're called, uh, have emote access. A hazel cheer would be nice to have. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Butts. <laughs> Gnome face. Maple leaf. Cheer. I like to. I like the idea of emotes that have use cases, like that there are specific th times that you would want to use them, because otherwise they don't really fit it. Like I, they need to have a context. I think. Okay, so the next one's gonna be GG Engineering. There's two of them. I think I've done this one before. Utilize the rocket barrage to add extra damage to Bobble. So you stand on top of Bow Bobble and the rocket will do damage for you. Avoid them yourself. Okay, avoid ro rocket, stand on Bow Bobble. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'd like more cat ones. Hazel Cheer would be nice to have. How cold is it where you are? Not terribly cold. In Fahrenheit, it's been kind of like 30 in the mornings and kind of like 45 during the day. So in Celsius, it's just like a little bit above freezing, usually between like zero and 10 degrees Celsius-ish. Uh, when do you think we will get info from Blizz about a release date? I'm getting impatient. Ah, it's tough to say, I don't know, I don't know. I think we might get info about a release date soon. I don't think that the 735 release is going to contain allied races. I think that the patch will contain the files for them. But I don't think they will unlock until we get a BFA pre-order, and I think it's going to be a couple months on that. I'm predicting spring, like March. I'm predicting allied races available with pre-order in kind of March, April, um, with a summer, uh, hopefully early, but sometime in the summer, like a June, July, August release for Battle for Azeroth. My cat is always trying to eat me. Sometimes my cat comes along and she's more of a, a head bump, head rub kind of cat as far as affection goes, but she will lick me if I if I gave her my hands. And sometimes I like to think that she's sampling it. Uh, yeah. Dog probably didn't have food in its dish if the owner lived alone and was incapacitated. That's also quite true. Um, bad pupper. What profession do you think is fun and profitable? I have mining and herbalism and alchemy. I'm thinking of enchanting. I like enchanting herbalism because it's quite profitable because you can DE all the purples you get, just sell the crystals. Um, and then herbalism is just really relaxing. I really like just wandering out in the world and picking flowers. I've, I've always been, always been one of my favorite things to do in WoW. Hello, Hazel. Hello, all. Hello, Theo. Hazel Salt. Hazel Naifu for dagger is a temp one. I'm going to miss Zella telling me fun lore stuff. Oh, yeah, my dagger? I must have had a really big role in the stream. Hazel Naifu. I always enjoyed the Naifu name for, for the knife, though. Need a tea emote? I like the tea emote idea as well. Butts use case, hazel plus fire equals butts. Oh, hazel salt for an emote, I understand. How often do I, I mean, I guess if I start doing PvP streams, we're gonna need some salt. Rumor in the street was just after the Scarab micro holiday. Mm. Mm. I feel like people were predicting that in relation to the, uh, Scarab micro holiday is pretty soon, in relation to the, um, the sword in Silithus, they thought that it would, that would happen after or before the Scarab Micro Holiday, but as it turned out, that was related to the raid. Yeah, a, a bus, a tea moat. Can't wait for pre-order. You got enough Battle.net balance to buy it from tokens? Oh, that's a good idea. I should probably save up for that. I always usually just buy it with money because what am I going to do? Not buy it. I finally caught a live stream. Hello, chat. Hello, Hazel. My cat bites me. Apparently that means he loves me. I mean, if they bite you gently and they're also kind of licking you, that's just a grooming thing, I think. Because my cat will also bite herself if she's, like, trying to work out a, something in her fur. She always looks clean to me, but sometimes she'll kind of chew chew while she's grooming. Have you heard the Void Elf music in Wowhead? It's amazing. Not yet. Not yet. During the panel, they said a lot of BFA features will just come out in 735. Mm -hmm. Stream more conveniently for us 9 to 5 We have more disp disposable income. That is that is true. You're, you're not You're not wrong. 
so my my one day dream my one day dream and i am getting better over the last couple weeks i have kind of evened up my schedule a little bit we've added one more stream that is a.m it's it's more convenient for european nine to fivers it's uh, 9 a.m my time i i wouldn't mind doing a late night one late night pacific time i don't think anybody's going to be able to come because late night pacific time is like a good time for nobody but like a hazel after dark pvp stream like i'll wear my most hip street clothes i'll put on like a hat i'll uh we'll have a mature language warning so that i'm allowed to swear <laughs> we'll and i'll just like cue arena and be like 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 thug thug life hazel you know hazel after dark but i don't know i don't know when i'm gonna do that Enchanting is insanely profitable, 100% the best profession due to making tons of mats for farming, mounts, mogs, gear in general. Yeah. And the, the, the enchants do sometimes sell nicely as well. I'm just, I'm lazy. <laughs> Having fun fishing while watching the stream. What are you fishing? What are you fishing? I like fishing high mountain salmon just because that spot that I kind of showed on my gold making video recently, the Sylvan Falls spot, is just like a super chill place to be. I want more tea. Do I have time to make more tea? Yeah. After this next fight, I'm going to put on the kettle and then I'm going to make some more tea because I'm not done drinking that yet. Oh yeah, we should, I should set up that pole, huh? You can use other crafting professions to break down their stuff to flip stuff into pure profit. Yeah, but then you have to craft the thing that you're breaking down, right? Like it's not pure profit because you still used mats to craft that other thing, right? Right? Supposedly the allied races minus dark iron dwarves and Zandalar, Zandalar tools will be available. I could see that considering that those ones, we just don't have a lot of info for them yet. An emote to spam when you go to get tea refills. Oh man, Alex, not a bad idea. Both of your realms were fighting the same fight and I got excited for a sec that I crossed realms. Almost at 70k subs. I bet you can start doing PvP death battle videos then. Haruma, did you watch my vlog yet? Yeah, I, uh, I, I made, a, I made a, a, mini, a mini dig at you at the end. It's tempted to buy mounts, but the free expansion sounded better. I hope you're having a great afternoon. I am having a great afternoon. I am so happy that we beat Burnstachio. That was messing with me. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying so hard to to get out the five videos a week plus whatever live streams I've agreed to do. I really want that little thing on my banner that says new video every weekday to be true. <laughs> oh, that's like the dream. How cold is it where you are? Um, 40-ish, 30 to 40 Fahrenheit, which is like 10 to 0 to 10 Celsius. A little, little chilly, not super cold. It's not crazy freezing. Doing a second stream finally. We've kind of, I, I did one so far, so I don't want to say I've, I've committed when I've only done one, but I'm kind of doing like a Tuesday morning, Tuesday 9 a.m. my time, like EU friendly, quick little mount run thing. And then, like I said, I'm kind of thinking of a Hazel After Dark PvP stream, because that would give me an excuse to PvP regularly, which I'm starting to really get itchy for. It's all Savix's fault. I never want to PvP until I watch his stream, and then I'm like, oh man, I should, I should practice. You're so gonna roll a Void Elf, they seem cool and intriguing. I'm mostly really excited about being tall again. Like, they're not that tall, but as a gnome, I've kind of gotten used to how my gear looks in a gnome. I've kind of gotten used to transmogging for a gnome body, but you just get more armor detail with a taller character model, and then people can see you in raid. Like, I like being able to see my character among other characters during raid, you know? Consider it thinking about EU WoW junkies much good, very good, Hazel. <laughs> I just want to talk to you guys more often. I love my EU fans. I love all my fans, but I uh, I love I love that WoW makes it so easy for people to connect with other people from all over the world. I think oh let's watch somebody else die to this because I I just think that's so cool. Um, it was one of my favorite things about raiding on the PTR is I never get to raid in voice chat with people f from from oh. <laughs> The only reason I'm really enjoying that was because that was me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking down on that at all. I'm just like relating. Um, but yeah, I got to be in voice chat with like this beautiful rainbow of accents and get to talk to people that I don't normally get to talk to. I would attend a PvP stream. <laughs> I appreciate that, Aileen. It'd just be like you and me and like a glass of wine. And, uh, and that would be okay. That would be okay. I, I know that PvP doesn't have the same kind of viewership numbers, especially among my audience that I have not really built around PvP, but we can have a couple of people hang out. And honestly, I wouldn't be able to keep up with a fast chat anyways, because, um, 
It's very difficult to PvP or to keep up with chat while doing PvP. You were at Graveyard Shift, the Hazel After Dark stream sounds awesome. Here is here watching an Alliance player, how wonderful. We're gonna convert him eventually. I'm in Suramar along the rivers. If you could have it on a Friday or Saturday night, then his East Coasters could stay up without regretting it at work next morning. Yeah, that's the other thing, is picking a night to do it on. Probably not Friday night, because I think one stream in a day is enough for me. Also, I forgot to... Actually, I forgot to queue. I'm going to put on my tea, and then I'm going to come back, I'm going to queue for another fight, and I'm going to set up that poll. So, more emote ideas. I know I haven't caught up with chat, but so far the idea is we have Hazel Salt slash Butts. Hazel Salty Butts. Um, hazel Tea. Uh, more cat emotes. We already have a cat, though. Like, what else would the cat be doing? More ideas, more ideas, more ideas. We're right back. So it occurred to me when I was AFK, I started hearing this little like bang sound from the side of my headphones and it occurred to me that it can totally just throw me into a brawl. <laughs> it can totally just throw me into a fight even though I'm not cute for one uh, while AFK and I should probably not go AFK. Uh, or at least not as much. Alright, so let's catch up to the beginning, get some emote ideas and put up the poll. Looking at Void Elf Rachel, they seem to be better for casting for that one powerful passive. I don't think it's that powerful. Like, when are you ever in a raid situation actually getting hit to have casting pushback? Okay. You let me know when you want a PvP, I will be there. Thank you. Going from Troll to Gnome was a difficult transition for me, swimming everywhere. On the plus side, one of Coven's abilities went over my head when I failed to dodge. Oh, that's funny. Negative thing about the new races in 4 will be hidden behind rep walls. Returning players will be upset with that. That's true. Yeah, if you're if you're a returning player and you want to play allied races, you'd best be getting a head start. I love the difference between my gear and my torn when I use the Orb of Cinderai or Deception. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have you ever considered doing sub games of Overwatch? Probably not going to happen. Are you cute? I'm cute now. I'm cute now. I would love to find more people for fun chat in Discord. Started fishing. You've been at this for seven hours in total. I missed the first thing that you said. I think there's context to that. A dog emote? You can do sub Overwatch games without adding people to Bnet just by creating custom chat channel. That's true. That's true. You have told me about that before. It's not that I don't like you guys. It's just that I don't um, play a lot of Overwatch. I would be I would be uh, dragging you down. Uh, a nutty nation emote. A nutty nation emote? Oh man. Hi Hazel. Hello Andrew, how are you doing? You got on the Void Elf? Great counterpoint. Make a purple tea leaf as an emote. I might not do purple hair forever though. I don't want to like commit too hard to purple graphics and stuff because what if I just end up with a different color? I've been thinking about redoing my banner and my channel icon to incorporate the purple hair and kind of shake up the color scheme. But I'm really lazy. Uh, do you have your TSM strings up somewhere? Or if you want to keep it secret, how would I recommend I start grouping? 
I'm not trying to like prevent competition by keeping a secret. My TSMs are just, is just kind of a mess. And there is some mistake that I've made in it somewhere that is causing me to occasionally lose money on resale. So that's why I don't want to share it until at least I narrow down where that is. Um, but there is a, there's two places that I get TSM strings from. Like I just import other people's TSM strings for the most part. And then I kind of adjust them as I go on. Um, I do keep one mega group that I make myself called BOE gear. And basically that's just like any piece of green gear that I want to just sell. Um, it's not like trains mug so it's not super valuable, but I just want to sell it for more than the vendor price. And I have, um, it's just anytime I get a new thing that I just want to sell, I just add it to that mega group. And then the rules that I have for that mega group are pretty loose. Like the BOE gear, so this is the group, it's got like a bajillion things in it. Like actually a bajillion. And then the operations, the aggressive self for oh, hang on. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I forgot, I didn't look it up. Oh no, I did, I did. I need to stand on bow. We're gonna stand on bow, multi-target. Standing on bow, standing on bow. And dodging rockets. Dodging rockets myself. Standing on bow. Where's bow? Bow's in the shield generator. They're both in the shield generator. Can I kill a shield generator? Is that a good idea? Shield. Oh, their health is shared too, okay. Uh. Need to stand on bow. Stand on bow. Get out of that, get out of that. Ooh. Mm. I think I can just kill Bow. Alright, good. Did it. Go team. I need to set up... Actually, I need to keep it on my kettle. I need to set up the, the pole. Dolphins don't make sharks happy, huh? Your tea sounds like a name for a panda bear. Did you grind a panda to a tea? No. I can't get my horde tune phase to Hazel's realm to say hi. Aww. Dolphins make everybody happy. Chipmunk emotes. The, 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 the squirrels kind of look like chipmunks, chipmunks, to be honest. Help me out here. I would like to have a companion that kind of reflects my demo warlock. I've grown tired of my minfernal. Do you have any suggestions? Demon like pets? Yes, there are quite a few good ones. Um, I like... I like this guy, Cross Gazer. That is a new one that is available in the Antoran Waste. It's basically a mini version. Here, I'll summon it. Uh, that's Cross Gazer right there. Uh, the grind is kind of painful, I'm gonna be real with you. It's kind of a painful grind, but it's uh, not that many people have it, so it's kind of unique. Be a little bit eye-catching. Uh, and then, of course, Abyssius, always good. So we've got another space Abyssal, which is kind of neat. And then Abyssius, the same thing, but in blue. Um, that one is a drop from Malchazar in Karazhan, the old one, and then that one drops from Supremus in the Black Temple. And then uh, there's quite a few good demon pets. You know, we've got like our imps. If you're if you're an imp kind of person, you've got uh, Core Fire imp from Molten Core, Fiendish imp drops from Karazhan, and then that one is a new one. That one's kind of like fiery. Uh, what else we got? We got the Succubus, of course. Um, I don't know if there's any Dreadlords. Hazel, hook it up with the cloth deck mug. Yo, stop Slabby. I was just telling them about our, uh, actually, I don't know if I've told you about this yet, but my, my, my theoretical Hazel After Dark, like, thug live stream, where we just do nothing but PvP. Uh, people, people are saying Saturday nights. Is the Brawler's Guild an event and should I do it? It's always up. You should do it if you feel like it, because it's kind of fun. It's easy to out gear now, so it won't be as hard as it used to be, and you can get some rewards, including there's a battle pet, Tyler Grondon, which is a Fight Club reference. Um, there are some BOE heirloom fists, and then a burly basilisk, which is meant, which is what I'm trying to do. I am not cute, and I'm not supposed to be cute. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna get my tea to start steeping, and I will put up this pole, I promise. I know I've said that like six times. We're, we are gonna do it. I'm gonna set a timer for about five minutes so that I can just steep in my desk so I don't have to get up again. Takes a lot of work to keep your hair healthy if you dye your hair a lot. You didn't want to end up like Jessica Negri. Your hairline's far back now. She pretty much has to wear wigs. I'm trying my very best to take good care of my hair. I'm not going to um, bleach it very often. I would say no more than every three months. Most likely more than that. And then my hair doesn't see an awful lot of shampoo because it doesn't really need a lot of shampoo. It's not like I'm doing super sweaty exercises. I don't roll around in the mud. 
and it's so it's such a frizzy hair type that it doesn't really get super greasy and I can kind of use dry shampoo to even things out so I'm setting a five minute timer but I'm definitely trying to be aware of that I do want to I do want my hair to be in in good shape uh, hazel smile or hazel laugh emotes hazel after dark sounds lit if it isn't your thing that's fine too Brawler's Guild is what a target would target them would be if it had dynamic mechanics. Yeah, it's kind of like um, an easier uh, Mage Tower challenge, but there's more different challenges. There's quite a few different ones. There are online guides that you can look up to see what the mechanics are, so you can kind of figure out what you have to do. Um, and it's also not a bad idea to do it during off-peak hours, like late at night, early in the morning, that kind of thing, because then you won't have as many people. You won't have to wait. Because there's one arena and you do have to share it with other people, like you have to line up. Speaking of which, I need to queue and I need to look up my mechanics and I know I need to make that pull. So I'm queuing up. Uh, we're doing stitches next, which I've heard is rough. Moves around in a puddle of goo. Standing in the puddle gives you a stacking dip of aura of rot. If you move out of the aura, stitches will hook you back. Okay, so I need to... Not reach 10 stacks. Moving out resets your stacks. He will hook you back in. And every time he hooks you, you move more slowly. So hopefully we can just kill it real quick before that becomes a huge problem. But the way I think that I want to do that is I want to stand in the thing to like eight stacks-ish. Move out, drop my stacks. He grips me back in. Again, eight stacks. Keep doing that. Hope that we kill him before I'm too slow to move out. That's my plan anyways. That's the, that's the plan. Try pink highlight through for that extra void effect. I definitely want to go a little more, a little more violet, a little more magenta, a little magenta, a little warmer next time. And ideally like a gradient. So like this color is good up top, but like a little warmer through at the bottom. And there's a little bit of that going on, but it's really hard to see. And I did a really terrible job of bleaching. I know what I can do better next time. Need more glow sticks. When Hazel says there are online guides and it doesn't make her own guides. I started making guides at the beginning of Legion, but nobody was watching them. I guess a couple people watched them, but they had like 5 to 10% of the views of other videos that I was doing. And that was probably one of the factors that led me to not make more of them. I watched your vlog a lot. Yay for PvP pet battles. It really means a lot to me that you watch my vlogs, man. That's, uh... There's a, there's a lot of content creators that will try and be like friends by like dropping by once or twice and be like yo collab 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 also check out my channel I'm, I'm, I'm a twitch stream and you know i've known you for a long time and it, it means a lot that you're not just you know <laughs> you come back i appreciate that i should come to more of your streams i need to make sure that my notifications are showing me them because the last one i went to was a little while ago you did like a pvp pet battle thing all right what are we doing Oh yeah, the, the stitches thing. I really want to reach chat. All right, so there's the goo. So we cannot get to 10 stacks. So I want to sit on the edge of the goo. Oh, the goo expands. Oh, interesting, okay. So we're at five, six, seven, eight, and reset. He's gonna, and he's gonna grip me back. And same thing. I should be able to out gear this one pretty much. Four, five, six, seven, grip me back. There we go, you're dead. Good stuff. Okay. I watched all of your Antorus guides. Thanks, Nico. What about a hazel god emote like a Sin's Eye or a tentacle old god monster or a faceless one? Shared them with my guild. Hazel after dark sounds like something inappropriate for children. I mean, the idea is obviously it's not like a, it's not like a inappropriate in that way, but I might say some bad words if I'm PvPing. And I would, I would need to have like a big chat disclaimer so that like if you have children around, you might want to put on headphones, that kind of thing. Um... All right, we're doing this poll, we're doing this poll. We are voting on the next emote, the next stream emote. Even if you're not a sponsor, you can vote, although of course you won't be able to use the emote unless you're a sponsor. Um, so, option one, Hazel T, which would probably be like a little cup of tea. Option two, Hazel, Salt butts. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily be called hazel salt butts, but just like a, a, a kind of a salty sort of ragey moat. And what are 
some other good ones. <laughs> what about that shop cat? I forget his name. Oh, um, I, you're talking about demon-like pets. Also, my tea is ready. You were like a hazel cheer. That was one. Could be like a, a cheer, like a yay, that kind of thing. That's that's three. That's that's enough options for now. Uh, I'm gonna run the poll for three minutes. It, it will not cost you any nuts to vote. Um, actually, it'll cost you. It'll cost you one nut. <laughs> it'll cost you one nut to vote. And I'm gonna start the poll, and you can vote by typing exclamation point vote space, and then either one, two, or three, depending on whether you want tea, salt butts, or cheer. And let me um, let me make sure this is on the screen. I don't know why I have to always update this, because the thing is the same. There we go. <laughs> you never say bad words during PvP? <laughs> new sponsor here? Hazel? Demon, do you have any particular, uh, as a new sponsor, do you have any particular emote requests? It's a little late for me to add them to the poll, but I can definitely take into consideration. Actually unsub from WoW, but still watch your content a bit. I hear that now and then, Jimmy. You're not the only person that said that kind of thing, that you don't play WoW anymore, but you still like watching the videos. And I think that's kind of cool. That way, when, if like something gets added to WoW that would make you want to come back, you know, you'll know about it. You'll be in the know. Where's my water? I'm thirsty. Mm. I watch all your vlogs and streams, dude. Yo. Thanks, man. Why are you not a mod, actually? How has that happened? How has, has this long gone by? And there we go. <laughs> Norma has 2k, no one has more than me. PTR is offline, um, either an issue and Blizzard's end and they don't need us to do any more testing. Sometimes the PTR just goes down due to either, like you said, issues or sometimes they take it down to do a new build or they'll take it down to adjust something. The PTR goes down for all sorts of reasons. All sorts of reasons. All right, so tea is, tea is looking real strong. And I think there are a variety of good use cases for a hazel tea, but. Also, it would be not that hard to draw. I subbed like three years ago and have watched the content on and off during playing. Thanks for sticking with me for so long, Grizzled Nuts. Also, your name's kind of funny. <laughs> I'll definitely be back to WoW. You just unsub when you're not raiding too busy IRL. That's smart, honestly. Mm. I've never unsubbed, but I've been doing the YouTube video thing, so it kind of makes sense. But... Yeah, I think it's I think it's healthy to play WoW when you don't feel like you have to be playing. Like if if you feel like there's nothing to do, then just take a break and play some other games, and come back. Like a lot of my guild plays like that. Like whenever there's a new raid, we'll all come out and we'll hang out, we'll have fun, and then when they're finished the content that they want to do, they just take a break. And it's not like they're quitting WoW forever. It's not like they hate Blizzard. I mean, some of them do, but it's not like they hate Blizzard. It's just that you know you don't have to be subbed 100% of the time. I loved your hair dyeing video. It makes me want to dye mine. It was, it was, I'm kind of excited to do it again when this eventually fades, which will be never, because again, like I said, I don't really wash it, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm happy with it. I didn't look this up. I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot. Oh dear, this looks sunny. It's lit. Oh, this, this is funny, but I don't know what's happening. Um, that guy, I can damage him though, so that's a good start. Let's just try and kill him. Uh, nothing is hurting me yet. I'm, I'm dotting the other dudes, because that seems like maybe I should. I should have looked this up just in case. There's a party. It's like a it's like a rave. Oh, I did it. Not a clue what was going on. <laughs> Alright, poll closed. Most votes for Hazel T. I think I can get on board with the Hazel T emote. Um, other games? PUBG? Yo, Flabby, you are never gonna let get me to play PUBG. You should just you should just move on. Makes me giggle every time you say my name. You feel special to be talking to you with a celebrity? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not a celebrity. Uh, and four hours later, I finally got the Rusty Queensfish brooch. Is that one of the ones that you cannot buy on the auction house? Hazel for... Shazel is not an option? Hazel for Shazel, what's that? A flab can dream. That's true, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to crush, crush the dreams of a flab. Um, Alright, so let me look up the next one. Let me look up the next one. We're doing, so we just did 
thwack you. I don't know, that was weird. Razor grin. It's a shark. Flopping around on the ground, he will slowly flop his way towards you. Uh, relatively easy fight for range, you just kite it. Alright. We'll kite it. I can kite it. I can cut a shark. I lost my chat window. Oh no, I lost my stream window. I didn't mean to close that. Reopen tab, reopen tab. Reopen tab. There we go. Oh man. <sighs> you have to get it yourself? Uh, uh. Did you, I mean, I know you already have it now, so like your, your struggle is over, your fight is over, but did you, um, were you using the arcane lures from Conjurer Margos? Because that can really help if there's any other ones that you need to farm up that you don't have. Um, those increase the drop rate of bait when you're fishing. Uh, do you do? Kite him or circle him and keep his mouth away from you, I will try. Although based on how many times I died to bird statue, we don't really have any guarantees. Hey there, I just watched the Shadow Priest Guide. You have a soothing voice, subbed, and can't wait for more. Thank you, Taryn. It's very nice of you. Any anime you into, Hazel? Anime. Sorry, that was a very loud tea slurp. That was a bit rude. Mm. I haven't seen anything new that I really enjoy. I don't watch anime regularly as a habit. I have seen a couple of shows, like Death Note, of course. Uh, my cat's name is basically from Death Note. Although I just kind of thought it was a nice name. Um, so Death Note and Attack on Titan was very good. I enjoyed One Punch Man. So like the really the really popular ones that tend to kind of go in d through through the Western market, I, I watch those. I'm excited to watch the next season of One Punch Man when that becomes available. Alright. But, can I stun him? I need to not get triggered. Or, or I need to not get, um, not triggered, um, cornered. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, well. I want to get enough distance so that I can void torrent. There we go. So, that slows him down. And this should do it. Also, I've been compl- I bought 10 of these Brawlers Pots. I was gonna buy 50. Haven't used a single one yet. Absolutely have not remembered to use a single one yet. Alright, that's good, that's good. Let's keep for another one. And find out what it is. Also, we've got some- Oh, it gets you quite a bit of gold. We still have a spirit healer, right? I want to keep that up just in case. Nobody, nobody likes to fly back. Get a man of gold, get a man of gold. Alright. Uh, the next fight is Leper Gnome Quintet. Fleazy, greasy, sleazy, wheezy, and queasy. That's funny. Uh, they apply a stackable debuff. You kite them around. You can make use of defensive cold ants to drop the buff, which I don't have. High cleave damage is good. Alright, so I'm just gonna multi-dot and kite. Multi-dot and kite seems fine. We'll probably do all right. Get back to chat. Uh, you bought most of your bait in the auction house. I think I tried to farm all my own bait, but then I got stuck and I bought whatever I was stuck on, I think. Shogogeki no Soma. Food Wars is the best anime going on at the moment. I have not heard of that one. Season 2 of Overlord. Newest season of Black Mirror is awesome. Black Mirror! It's not an anime, but I have been watching Black Mirror. I have been watching Black Mirror. There is only one episode left that I haven't seen. I've seen the first five episodes of season six. I haven't seen the last one. I'm looking forward to it because people seem to enjoy it more than the fifth episode anyways. Metalhead was a bit different. And I, d I won't talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil Black Mirror for anybody planning to watch it that hasn't done it. So I'm not going to talk about plot points or anything. I think the new season is pretty good, but it's good in a different way than some of the earlier seasons were. I felt like the earlier seasons were very gripping and chilling and kind of emotionally damaging for me because they show you the worst possible scenario of technology that we already have and use. Like, they make you think about the way that you use technology in your life. And as somebody that is a very heavy technology and social media user, because that's literally my job, that's just terrifying. Like, that really, really got to me. And these newer ones, they're still cool. They're still good stories. They're still beautifully shot and acted. But they're, they seem more like just interesting drama pieces that feature t technology as opposed to really criticizing the way technology is used today, at least, anyways. Any Tokyo Ghoul? Have not seen Tokyo Ghoul. If you like Death Note, watch Psychopaths. Really good. 11 to 10. Can't pass up. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I think my husband watched JoJo's. He watches more anime than me. What triggers Hazel? Ugly Battle Pets. Oh man, I can't tell you guys, then you'll just spam it. Metalhead sucked the most of the season. I don't think Metalhead was bad, but it wasn't what I was expecting from a Black Mirror episode. And, uh, 
honestly, what it was trying to do just wasn't really for me. All right, I'm next. I'm next. Inuyasha is an older anime, but the story is top notch. I remember watching a little bit of Inuyasha at friends' houses when I was a kid, like a like a ten, eleven, maybe twelve. Um, I was more into Naruto at that age. Between the ages of like eleven and fourteen, I was very into Naruto. I had like the headbands and I cosplayed at conventions and everything. It was a little bit embarrassing. I've already forgotten. Oh yeah. Uh, so my plan is to single dot with Shadow or Pain. And hopefully once I get into void form, the uh, the um, void eruption should be really good. All right, well, it was okay. <laughs> it was fine. My, um, my pride as hasn't broken yet. I'm not really kiting them though, am I? It's fine. I think it would have taken me too long to try and double dot them. I think this is better. Good, good stuff. As, as predicted, after Burn Stashio, everything's really been uphill. Okay, so Black Mage. So there's a pirate next time. When the lit fuse reaches a cannon, it will instantly kill you, so keep sidestepping to dodge the cannons. He also has a charge that you need to dodge, and then reposition him to not get hit by any cannons firing. Spawns are out cannons, long fuse. I think I need to see it to really understand, but sidestep to avoid the cannons, dodge the charge, reposition him to not get hit by any cannons. Reposition him or reposition me? I guess I'll find out. I guess I'll find out. I'm one in line. It looks like there's fewer people doing the brawl now, so I can uh, or chew through them a little more quickly. With that your glasses and with brown hair, you kind of look like Spencer from Pretty Little Liars. I haven't seen Pretty Little Liars. Is uh, Spencer a woman? It kind of sounds like a man's name. Not that that's a, not that that's a problem. I make a I make a pretty thuggin man. Uh, Ancient Magus's bride, really good. Ars Nova Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Arpeggio of Blue Steel actually rings a bell. I feel like I might have seen an episode of that. You can just watch the ground. Okay. Gotcha. 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 What is this talk? Don't make me get my demon hunter. <laughs> Always be standing on a fuse. Okay. Are you trolling me? They move at different rates. You can find longer ones easily. I usually limit my fight to four fuses wide and just stand in the longest one. Okay. Stand on a long fuse. Nick, I was trying to say thuggin. You know, like I'm, like I'm cool. Like I'm street. You know, I make a pretty street man. Like with the, with the short hair and like manly makeup i feel like i look uh, like the androgynous version of hazel looks kind of mean it's kind of like a mean looking dude all right standing on a long fuse I don't really understand those are the fuses are they supposed to look like that seemed a bit strange I want to be behind the fire. No. I want to be in front of the fire. No. What? <laughs> I don't understand. I feel I feel kind of dumb right now. Uh, look it up on YouTube and you'll see from Magus's Bride. Naval battles in the near future. You can just watch the ground. I was watching the ground. There's something that I'm not processing in my brain. Let me look in my head and see if the comments make it any more clear to me. I don't quite get it yet. Always stand on a fuse. As long as you're positioned on a fuse, you won't be instigibbed. Some of them burn up faster. Stand closer to the cannons. Move that cannon. Okay. So I, I stand close to the cannon. On a fuse. Oh, I see. I think I get it. And then once one has gone off, I can get on that one. Because it won't go off again for a while, right? Seems good. The pirate one is difficult for casters. I don't know if I even like was hitting him. <laughs> I don't remember that part. They trigger cannons. The cannon sh one shot. Yeah. So the cannon one shots me. I'm going to pre-pot right now. I'm going to be over near the cannons. This one's got a pretty slow fuse. That one. So once that goes off, 
once that goes off, I'm going to move to that cannon. So it shoots, and then I'm good here. For a minute. That one's just shot, so I can move, I can move right. And then I can move back to the left again once that's gone off. Don't, don't you knock me back. Okay, we did it. I'm, I'm glad that didn't turn out to be worse than I thought it was going to be. Hey Hazel, we are a casual guild and have people from 20 to 60 years of age. I have them your boss guides and we cleared Heroic and Taurus in the first week. Thank you for that, man. You beat my guild. <laughs> we only cleared Heroic and Taurus like as an entire group uh, this week. And then for the first time with half of our ears last week. 60 years old playing WoW. What a life. That is awesome. I really hope that um, I'm still able to play video games when I am retirement age, because I think that will make me... I think that's a great way to stay sort of socially and mentally active, even if you have, you know, bad knees or whatnot. I didn't look this up. Uh, I'm dodging Dino Dash. Assuming that it's a straight charge. Yep, looks like it. He's Dino Dazed. Aw, poor buddy. He bonked. You gotta try not to bonk, man. Mm. This seems fairly straightforward. I will not... So he's going to charge up another Diner Dash, probably. I'm going to get out of the way, and then I should be safe to Void Torrent. But I need, in order for that to happen, I need my hands to be in good condition. I am kind of prone to repetitive stress injuries and arthritis. So I've been doing a lot better recently, in the last year or so, since I started regularly lifting weights every day through, like, to strengthen my hands and my forearms, and to some extent my biceps, but mostly your hands and your forearms. And that has been massively helpful. And I'm really hoping that if I continue to stretch, not overdo it with the gaming in my hands and continue lifting weights and just taking care of them, that I will still have good use of my hands in my old age so that I can play well. Hazel, thug life, steep tea every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Playing well increases intelligence in older people. I think just staying active and and staying mentally active. And I think that's important for people of all ages. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've been trying to learn... I, I should be looking this up. Why I've been trying to learn a second language is because even if I'm terrible at it, just the... What is this? I'm scared. I'm scared. What is he channeling? Should I have kicked that? Should I... What do I... What do I kick? I should probably get out of that, huh? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, I didn't pre-pot. I'm just post-potting. So I should get out of the dynamite probably quickly. I I don't want to I don't want to risk it. Shrink ray malfunctioned. Mega fantastic discombob. Excuse me. Oh, maybe I should kick that. Special warning. Mega fantastic discombob morphinator. Well, he's still got dots in him, so that's something. Actually, the dots might kill him. Also, my pride as is a bro right now. There we go. There we go. I, th I think I think I probably should have lost that, but I didn't. We're looking fights up before we queue now, because it looks like not that many people are queuing. Huh. But yeah, the I think I think the language study is is good for keeping different parts of my brain active. Stand outside the electric fields unless she's gonna polymorph you. Oh, gotcha. That that makes sense. I love the way your void form weak or looks, but can you explain what the numbers mean? I get some of them, but maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know half of it is. I don't use a whole lot of it. I will try and explain it next time I see it. Is there a target that I down here? No. Um, the far left number is my haste. There's one, one of the numbers is my haste, like my current haste percentage. One of the numbers is my current number of void form stacks. One of my numbers is like when it says like say 18 plus five, that means that I currently have 18 void form stacks and that if I don't take another action and my void form just falls off naturally, I will get an additional five stacks just in the time it takes my void form to fall off. So I can guarantee uh, 23 stacks in that case. Um, that's most of it. Get hexed, bop with me. Want to stand near the pool? Whoops, it easy. Okay. Uh, all right, so the next one, if I'm actually looking them up, uh, rank six. So we did tops, we did Millie. Car, a large lava worm, Casper, spits at pools, which radiate walls of fire. Okay, so I just need to dodge stuff. I can dodge stuff. We're almost done here, actually. This will be the last fight. This will be the last fight. I've never been able to make it to a stream. I usually just watch them the next day because I'm uh, AU. Welcome, Ben. Ben, I got some bad news for you. 
<laughs> we're, we're, we're just, we're just about done here. I'm so glad I made the second pot of tea. I'm really enjoying it. Am I next in line? I am next in line. I feel like I had at least three other things that I wanted to talk to the stream about. But we did all right. We did all right. We, uh, we picked a new emote, so I will do my best. I don't, do I, can, I, can I do it this week? Do I have time to do that this week? I want to make some stream thumbnails to differentiate my different streams, and also because my current stream thumbnail is extremely lazy and it's always the same thing. I want to make some custom stream thumbnails so that you can, like, look at the preview and know at a glance which stream it is that you're watching. I wouldn't make a new one for every live stream because, again, lazy. But, um... Around when did they do the spring sale for Blizzard gear? Your loot was super awesome. That may have been a one-time thing. That was the only time that they ever did it. They may never do it again. I, th I think they were restructuring the type of merchandise that they're going to carry in the store. So they were getting rid of some stuff that they'd wanted to no longer sell. Is the gist of it. So I need to dodge the firewall, which needs... I need to stand on a corner angle to these spots as they spawn. I'm going to stand next to this one to hopefully stack them. So that I can have as much room as possible for dodging those my power infusion which i'm pretty glad it took so there's the thing here's the corner angle i should be fine right here and it looks like dots are going out oh they continue spawning walls gotcha 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 and that would be really hard if i was at a higher gear level or a lower gear level okay let's open up so we, we managed to make it to what rank six so one two so one two three four five more fights five more fights I can wait until next week. I can wait until next week and do five more fights. We can finish this on stream next Friday. Uh, for this one, put a picture of you next to Brad Pitt because of Fight Club. All right, I think. Let's see where my chat is. Is there anything else you need to catch up on? Um, why aren't you wearing Safus? Uh, that's a good question. I like Prada's and Mangaza's is glued to my hips because that's my that's my baby. <laughs> that belt is my baby. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, next stream going to be theoretically Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Kind of EU friendly. That would be a shorter one. More casual mountain runs. And then the baking stream. The first baking stream of January is going to be on Thursday. Between Sometime between now and Thursday. So early next week. Possibly even Monday. I'm going to do a mail unboxing video. So Kristen, if you are still here, I will open your package. I still have it waiting. I have not peeked. I will be opening that along with at least one or two other things in an upcoming mail time video. And, uh, oh, I remember my story. I forgot to tell it. Maybe I'll tell it next week. <laughs> I gotta go. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.